Okay, this is just a stupid mock-up of what I'm going to do. Fuse panel. Um, as I said, I'm going to bring in a, the, uh, the power at the bottom here using the original wires, you know, with connectors and whatever I need to do. Um, these fuses, I've just put them in there for shits and giggles. It gives me 3.6 this side, 3.6 that side. So, you know, it, that could be a red up there, could be a brown. What the fuck? It doesn't matter. Um, so this uh, relay here, for argument's sake, uh, that took a uh, live supply. So, you know, let's say I stick it on there and put a 5 amp fuse in. Does it need it? Don't know. I'm going to have to try and figure these things out. There are uh, a number of circuits, and I have to try and figure out what each one does, and sometimes I'll be guessing. No two ways about it. I'll be guessing, and I'm going to, let's say, for argument's sake, uh, it's a lighting circuit, and I put a 5-amp fuse in, and it goes pow when I turn the lights on. Well, if I didn't figure it out right... Um, I'll put a 10 amp in, but I won't be doing that just for shits and giggles. I'm going to say, okay, you know, it's a X watt light. It has another X watt light. Therefore, the, uh, you know, the uh, Ohm's law, the old VIR. And if you don't know what that is, you'll have to look it up. Or maybe I'll show you a diagram. Um, so that you can figure out the current you have volts, amps, and resistance. So you have to figure it out. A volts being, yeah, duh, volts. Resistance being the wattage. And then that tells you what the amperage is. Yeah, no. Hey, you just learnt something, didn't you? VIR. It's a little triangle. I will show you. I promise. I will show you. I will draw it up right now. Okay. I have opened it up here. And um, there is not a black wire in here, which means it's back there in the harness somewhere. As the Moody Blues song was, I know it's out there somewhere. I'm just going to find the fucker. Oh, and I have now repaired this. It's um, a lot better than it was. It's not perfect, but it's... It's good enough. Now I've got to repair what I've done here because I'm not going to break the wire here when it's further back. But uh, what I might do, see that's where that wiring harness disappears down and round. I've got to find a point where I can break the harness and rejoin it without too much fucking effort. Now, there are black wires, excuse me, come on, come on, respond, thank you. There are black wires there. I certainly don't want to cut it there. Which seems to leave me little choice but to cut it down there. Wow. <clears throat> so if I cut it there, that gives me an easy space to join it because I can pull this back out to here I can then pull that harness over here towards me and do the joins and there's going to be a lot of joins and I don't want to do it but I don't really see many options other than tearing it out of each wing and I don't want to do that <sighs> This one is a conundrum. But 
but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. It means I've got to really try and make a very neat job of it down there when I put it all back together. It's going to be a little bulbous because I'm going to have to solder it and I'm going to have to put heat shrink on it and then I'm going to have to wrap tape around it. Mm. But at the moment, I think that's where I'm going to make my cut. Let me give it a couple of hours thought. Okay. I have wrapped up my, what do I call it, investigation area. No, not a black wire in there, not a black one in sight. I have um, sent a email off to AutoSparks, who build the wiring harnesses and ask them if they'd be willing to show me a schematic so that I know where that black wire went from the overdrive switch or overdrive uh, light should I say we'll see I don't hold out much hope in all honesty I think they'll just say oh, fuck off don't care but we will see if I'm wrong, I will let you know, as I'm sure you're aware. Uh, right, yeah, I know. I've been over this many times. I'm definitely going to cut it down there. Uh, i just got to now undo all of the um, retaining um, clips so that I can pull the harness up to a level where I can decide how the hell I'm going to cut it. I don't know what I'm going to cut it with yet. Uh, a hacksaw's off. Don't think that's a good idea. Maybe uh, a um, Dremel high-speed grindy wheel. Um, I've got some choppers, but I don't think they they would get through. So I think it's probably going to be the Dremel jobby, but don't know. And also I want to make sure that I can get it up as high as I can to get the cut where I want it to be. Oh boy. Well, maybe I have found it. Look at that. That is the black that goes to the starter solenoid. Um, I'll have to figure out exactly where with that shield in the way I, I can't remember how the connections went um but also I, I mentioned in, a, in one of my other videos that there was a uh, black braided wire well that's there as well so now what I've got to do uh, it's, I mean you, you can see that it's oh look at it I mean Jesus it just burnt its way through there right I haven't touched that so I've now got to pull the harness through this way if I can um, and strip it back replace the wire um, hopefully no others are burnt as well we will find out um, at least I shall be able to trace that that black wire goes around here and through uh, and I got other things that are in the way, oh, clutch pipe, and everything's in the fucking way, isn't it always, eh? And this wire here, I'm going to have to loosen that so that I can pull this way. I've got to pull this wire out as much as I can. I've got to go back to the join here, because that's where it'll turn. Uh, strip that off. Wow, well, fuck me sideways. <laughs> Then I've got to tape it up. So my biggest problem is the awkwardness of this. Now that I know where it is, and yeah, yeah you see, I've got it. I've got it. Um, there's a nut there that's holding it, and that is going to be a pain in the ass because that nut will hit this clutch pipe. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. 
Oh, and actually, in this position over the wing, I have to be careful saying that. Um, <sighs> shit. All right, uh, well, I've got to get on now and try and strip this back. Well, not try and strip it back. I'm going to strip it back. I've also got to try and pull this out here, but I'm going to need to take all those things off that I just mentioned. And you can get up there out of the way because you're not needed just yet. All right, folks. Fokey fokies. Doesn't that red look lovely? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I guess it's given me a couple of lessons. Um, it's also made me change things, such as the isolation switch and all the fuses. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers, I'll put the name down underneath, um, was mentioning about the, uh, the different color wires and what they do. Now, um, I do have the Lucas um, color plan, for want of a better word. Uh, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, one thing I know that he mentioned, and I, I did know this anyway, is that the browns are unfused feeds, but I'm going to fuse them. Now, why they were unfused in the first place, I really don't know. Maybe uh, you can tell me why they just decided to unfuse them. That just seems like a fucking stupid thing to do. As far as I'm concerned, every circuit should be fused. And they should be individual too. So I'm going to have to figure out how to feed that um, fuse box that I've got. I think it's going to, I'm going to feed it with the... Uh, crap, which, uh, I think it's the white, the white wires and the purple wires. I'm not sure if I can join the white and purple together and put them all as the main feed. I, d I don't know if that's... Um, allowed, shall we say, or, or a good idea. Um, I'm not an auto electrician, but I'm I'm quite good at car electrics. And I used to be a household engine electrical engineer. So, you know, electricity doesn't scare me. Uh, I just want to make sure I do it right. And as I said, I'm not an auto electrician, so maybe there's a reason they have a purple and a white and they Never put them together, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the wiring diagram and see if I can figure it out. Unless one of you sitting out there says, Oh no, Gary, that's okay. Just join them all together. And the reason I'm saying that is because my fuse uh, block, come with me. Let me show you my fuse block. Uh, no, not my bollocks, my fuse block. Uh. Here it is, if I could, and the main feed comes in the bottom here, uh, positive and the negative at the top. Well, I'm not going to use the negative purely because I don't need to. Um, and I've got various fuses and I'll swap them about to get them to the right amperage for whatever the circuit is. And that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Um, uh, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yes, I can, I'll isolate each one and then be able to say, okay, pull the fuse out and see what stops working. Then I can check the wattage of whatever it is and do the old Ohm's Law stuff and uh, figure out exactly what rating of fuse I should put in. Now, uh, there will be a diversity factor. Some, I think some of these fuses, I'm not sure, I will have to check. Um, have a diversity factor of uh, one and a half. In other words, if it's a 10 amp fuse, it'll blow at 15 amps. Uh, I believe that's true, but I don't know for sure. That is something I will find out. But as you see, I've got 12 circuits to choose from. And it looks like they've got little red lights too. Um, so I may have to run a ground wire just so I can get me little lights on. <laughs> I don't know about that. Probably will. Um, and obviously, you know, up the top here, that's where you can connect um neutral rounds but i won't be doing that i'm saying that i might do one purely because of uh, where it's located and what needs to be done okay right uh that's it for the moment oh by the way yeah i mean this is something totally off thing um these are 2ba 4ba 
to be a and to be a die uh, from British fasteners. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they're a great company. The so you know obviously on the on the Mark II, well and all, all the old Jaguars. It's two BA, four BA, six BA. You know they used a lot of BA sizes, and British fasteners sell just about anything you could possibly want in that range. In fact, they do a hell of a lot of uh, nuts, bolts, well fasteners, and uh, they're pretty darn good, reasonably priced. So check them out. Well, in order to assist getting that uh, cable through uh, into the engine bay. Obviously, I don't want to pull it all the way through. I just want to pull enough through so that I can get all the insulation off. Um, can't quite see it there, can you? Hang on a second. Oh, it's behind the um, vent hose there. Hang on. I've got to be able to show you this. Oh dear, got hands out in the way. Right, see there? That's the grommet there that it goes through. And the reason I have pulled all of these wires back out to here is that is a straighter angle than having them up here in this dash area. So that's what I've got to do now. Um, is get in the engine bay and uh, loosen it on that end. As I mentioned earlier, and then I'll be able to strip it back and replace the wire and see what other damage has been caused. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, I just wanted to show this. Uh, and this is the reason I'm going to all the trouble of stripping this wire all the way back. Look at the mess. I mean, just look at it. It's, it's totally fucked. But, look how it was stuck to this one. Now, where it was up against the uh, the braided ones, they seem to have fared a little better, but it has left its um, deposit, shall we say, on them. Uh, and I think, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to check this one, because that feels like it's busted there. Yeah, well, maybe not, no. Nope. Maybe it's just that braiding, yeah. Okay, obviously I can buzz that one out to make sure that it is uh, is okay. But uh, yeah, look, 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 look at the fucking mess, huh? You cannot... Uh, it's just... Oh, what fucking wire is that? Hang on, if that's the... That's, oh, it's probably part of the same wire, isn't it? Fucking better be. <laughs> I've still got to strip it further back to see exactly where uh, so my next task is to start cutting along here but I want to get this out of the way at least to give me a little more room I'm trying to avoid having to take the clutch pipe off um, because if I got to do that then I got to bleed the clutch and oh, fuck. I just don't want to get into all of that if I can avoid it so let me see if I can uh, uh, pull this through somehow get this sorted all right um, i'm not going to bore you anymore with uh, this stuff until it is finished now so that's going to be no more videos for a few days um, i've got some honeydews to do plus a few other items good god uh yeah that is a hell of a mess so uh, I don't guarantee you won't get a video, but I won't guarantee you will either. Um, this is this is definitely going to take a while. I'm having to lay across my wing here, which I detest doing because one, it hurts my chest, and two, I'm worried about putting another dent in the wing. Yes, I've already dented it, which I'm going to deal with, but you know, that's why I'm putting so many towels on blankets on here to try and prevent me and my elbows from damaging it. These wings are not as thick as the originals, unfortunately. Okay, yes, look, off, oh, have a bath. Oh boy, uh, what are we doing here? I'm going nuts, that's what I'm fucking doing, I don't know about you. Oh, crap. 
Uh, what can I say? Get out in that garage. Go do some more shit. Oh boy. <laughs>